Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer to you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gift of your servant Abel the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. Then as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage and confidence to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of that peace. This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. How truly happy and blessed are we who are called to this supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, 
but only say the word and I shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer by Henry Francis Light? Abide with me, fast falls the eventide, the darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. Swift to its close, ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changes not, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks, and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. And let us pray. Almighty Father, in the body and blood of your Son, give us a share in his life, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks to three donors. The first, Victoria Cortez and family from Scarborough, Ontario. The second is the Muzzle family from Toronto, Ontario. The third is Willis Wheeler from St. Andrews West, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend, and we'll be looking for you all again come Monday. For